today we're going to talk about what to do once you get a price list in. So in previous videos, and I'll link them here, we've talked about reaching out to distributors and suppliers and asking them for a price list. Once you get connection with a distributor or supplier and you kind of establish some rapport, you're going to want some kind of a price list or a purchase list, an order list. There's lots of synonyms. So figure out what they call it and then always refer to it as that. Don't refer to it as a price list just because I say price list, right? Always talk using their own vocabulary. That's a big recommendation. It'll always make your relationships better. So they're gonna have something, I'm gonna call it a price list, and you're always gonna wanna request this in an Excel or a CSV file, and it's gonna have, what you want is you want UPCs, and you want the cost that they're extending you. Those are really the two main variables that we need to be able to jump in and analyze the profitability of that purchase. So to do that, I'm here on the main page of Smart Scout, I'm gonna come over to UPC Scanner, and then I am gonna open tool. I open up the UPC scanner and I'm gonna hit start a new scan. I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna hit import and I'm gonna grab this list. And uh, my product ID is found in the UPC column. The product cost is found in the extended price column. I'm just gonna hit import, great. Search name, Bob's Red Mill. And then I'm gonna look for UPCs. I'm gonna hit scan products. It's gonna go through and scan these for me. Okay, it is completed. Looks like I found 22 products. And I can see over here if it was successful or not. And then I can see the ROI potential and the net margin potential over here. So we're gonna rank these by net margin and we're gonna dive in and see if these are if these are a go or not. Our cost is $3.92 and then the buy box price is $43.51. Let's see if that matches up. So it is actually a pack of four. So really quick here, let me, let me update that. Um, I'm just gonna pull up my calculator. And we're just gonna update that price really quick. So it is 392 times four, so 392 times four, that is 15, so it should be 1568. And that updated everything and we've still got a 29% profit margin. So that's a good one. Let's keep going down the list. Let's double check. Now the reason why I'm doing this is I'm always wanting to make sure that our cost is correct by based off of packs. Some vendors, this won't be as big of a deal. I just know that with food vendors, you always wanna be careful that you know what your actual costs are. So they're they're selling me these for 90 cents a unit and the buy box for the price is 23, 39, but this comes in a pack of 12. So we're just gonna come over to my calculator again. We're gonna do 0.9 and then we're gonna multiply that by 12. And that is 10.8. Let's see if that's still profitable for us. Okay, that's not as profitable. That's a lower margin. It's a 14% margin. But that's still okay. The ROI is still pretty good on that. And we're just gonna keep going down the list. Um, once again, once you're here, you can analyze, you can see the buy box, you can see what the FBA fee is, what the referral fee is, what the storage fee is, all the way over to your net profit. and your net margin and your ROI. You can also slide over here, see what the rank is, if Amazon's selling it or not, how many sellers there are. You can quickly analyze and see if this is still the opportunity that you think that it is, right? And what I'm doing is I'm just double checking to make sure that the case pack size is correct. I Once again, it's really easy. I've had many experiences where I've bought a product thinking it was a single unit, but really it sold as a pack of 12. So actually I sent in the wrong product. People were ex expecting to receive a pack of 12 and I only sent one, so I had to deal with a return. You don't wanna deal with that. Always, if you're dealing with food or anything that comes in packs, double check your math and make sure that it's profitable. But that's, that's how to use the UPC scanner and to analyze your profitability and make the right buying decisions. Thanks for joining me. Um, jump in, use the UPC scanner. Use coupon code SMART2024 to get 25% off your first three months of Smart Scout and get in and start finding opportunities. Make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video.